Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Unicast. It's James here, and I have decided to build a Parasaurolophus enclosure with the brand new DLC update of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. So I thought, how am I going to get these Jurassic World uh, Camp Cretaceous paras in my park? Um, not, I didn't want to make them just a standard boring pallet. So I've gone for something that's a little bit different to anything I've seen recently. So I decided to build it down. So I've dug down first of all just to see how low it went. And then I found that that was a little bit too far and the slope was a little bit too steep. So I raised it up slightly, made the slope a little bit, a bit more uh, less angled. And I had a big enough flat surface area to lay down the water. Now I didn't want to make paddocks with fences. I thought I'd use some of the other raw materials around the side uh, to make it look a bit more natural, something you'd see at maybe a safari park, but still, I thought I'd use the game's sort of physics and things like that to, that don't allow animals to escape if you get these rocks and barriers and things in the right place. It's a little neat little trick. So you can actually lay down all of these little rocks all the way around the edge here and if you lay them, they're so precise next to each other that there's no gap, then the animals can't break through, they can't escape. Even with a set, I know I'm on sandbox mode, so the settings are off anyway for escaping dinos, but obviously you still got to accept that they are, that's part of a paddock. But these rocks all the way around the edge here do act as a barrier. Now here I've deleted a couple of rocks because I wanted to add in a viewing platform here. So as you can see, all those trees there that I've added in is purely food for the Parasrolophus. I didn't want them eating around the lagoon because with the viewing platform up the top, I want them to, the, all the lagoon area to be part of just, I guess, the ambiance of the place to make it look a bit more tranquil, peaceful, um, somewhere nice that the Parasrolophus will want to stay and want to be, will want to be. So, um, then I decided to put trees all the way around the edge to hide the rocks and uh, yeah, to sort of add a little bit more seclusion to the place. Um, and then this is where I added in the viewing gallery. So eventually I would connect the path up from the viewing gallery all the way around to where the actual incubation hatchery is um, and the main street. You could even add the monorail. I thought I'd put in some little rocks there to sort of close them little gaps in that I've got. And as you can see here is my paras, just going to transfer them all in and then change the settings to nighttime mode so we can actually see what these guys look like in their fluorescent lighting. Boring Parasrolophus there without the lighting. Great animal though, it's my favourite herbivore. So change it to night and voila, there we go. Beautiful brand new additions. Probably my favourite herbivore in the whole entire franchise. Now I'm not a huge Camp Cretaceous fan. I, I like it, I enjoy it for what it is, but in terms of the lore and the canon of the franchise, yeah, I'm not a huge fan, but this is one creature that I absolutely adore. And it's one of my favourite things that they've added into Jurassic World Evolution, and one of my favourite things that they've added into the Jurassic World universe full stop. This is just to sort of show you a scale of how big my enclosure is. Um, next to the paras, next to the uh, paddock. But yeah, I enjoyed it guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would like to know if you've uh, ever given this a try or, or like my design. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and you like my, my design because I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And uh, only one thing left to say. Life will find a way. Bye bye.